Let's go to the next question again gate 2021 and this says Trisha's consumption preferences on biryani and pudding now this actually came from one of our assignment only this is there in your assignment if you look at the initial assignments on utility function you will find exactly same question there so it's it's like a bonus question that we have in fact the other ones also but this was with the same numbers also, I think. So Trisha's consumption function is given by utility function x plus 4y. The price of biryani, biryani is given by x. So the price of x is 2 rupees. And the price per unit pudding is 3 unit, three rupees. So price of y is 3. Trisha's total income is 120. Income is given by 1. However, she faces an extra quantity constraint as she cannot, she is not allowed to consume biryani more than 60 units and pudding more than 30 units. Her optimum quantity of biryani and pudding consumed by Trisha is. Now, see, just think about this. Actually, if I go ahead and I look at this question, the utility function given to us is that of a perfect substitute utility function, right? We know how to solve these perfect substitutes. So for perfect substitute utility function, What do we do? We compare MRS and PX by PY. If MRS is greater than PX by PY, then we know that we consume only good X. If MRS is less than PX by PY, then we consume only good Y. Right? And if they're equal, then we consume a combination of the two goods. So this is only good Y. And if MRS is equal to PX by PY, then any combination. You can consume all of good X, all of good Y, or a combination of the two goods. So, in this case, we have to first find the MRS. So, let's find that. My MRS will be MUX by MUY, which will be 1 by 4, which will be 0 0.25. PX by PY is 2 by 3, which is 0 0.67. So I have this condition, MRS is less than PX by PY, which means I should be consuming only good Y, right? Now, if I spend my entire income on consuming only good Y, ideally these are substitute goods. I should be consuming only one depending on this ratio. So if I spend my entire income on only good Y, how many units of good Y can I consume? Good Y can be consumed in M by PY units. This is what we have done for substitute goods. Income is 120. Price of good Y is given by 3. So I should be consuming 40 units of good Y. Now just look here. This question says you cannot consume more than 30 units. 
there is this extra constraint that you have. So therefore, because I cannot consume more than 30 units, the maximum that I can do for good Y is consume 30 units, not 40 units. So I will say that because of additional constraint given consumption of good Y can only be 30 units. Right. So, if I consume 30 units, each at the rate 3 rupees, I am spending 90 rupees on good Y. My total income is 120. My remaining income is 30 rupees. Each unit of good X costs 2 rupees. And I have 30 rupees with me remaining. So, 30 divided by 2 will be 15 units. So I will get 15 units of good X and 30 units of good Y. So the answer to this question will be B. In fact, you didn't even have to calculate X because that constraint of 30 is only met here. So once I know that I must be spending most of my income on, you know, in this case, initially I got, I should be spending my entire income on good X or uh, on good Y. Whichever is the closest to spending entire income on good Y, that should be the solution. So since this has maximum consumption of good Y, this should be your solution as compared to any other case. But then also you can calculate the entire answer and you can say that it will be 15,30. A very good question in fact. Very, very good question for practice. It uses two concepts simultaneously. One, it uses the concept of substitute goods. And second, what happens when you change your budget simultaneously, when you put a constraint on your consumption in the budget. So good question.